Hey, hey, hey everyone, I am Dead Hand, and I'm here to give you guys another tutorial about Teleglitch Diamore Edition. Again, I play the Steam version, and I have racked up uh, at least 70 hours by now, uh, so I feel like I'm uh, mildly an expert at this game. I'm not the best in the world, but I've got some stuff I can share with you. Uh, today I want to go ahead and go over how to knife effectively. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into level 1, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it kind of works. Okay, so we are getting into a nice big room here. There we go. Corral plenty of bad guys into the room. Okay, so with the knife, what happens is it is always, as you'll see, it is always your right hand. So if you aim and you're you're aiming the wrong direction, you're not gonna hit any whoops, you're not gonna hit anything. It's always your right arm. So, what I like to do, kind of position them onto where the right side of my body would be. A little knifey knife. Backpedal a little bit. Of course, a zombie got in the way of me showing how to kill the fat one. So zombies, <laughs> now that they're already here, zombies are a fickle bunch. They they kind of burst at you, slow down, burst, slow down, burst. If you can catch them right at the end of that burst and not screw up like I just did, you can actually kill them pretty quickly. Again, just to illustrate here, with the knife, it is always on the right side. As you can see... <laughs> I wish I could zoom in more. As you can see, the knife is actually a little silver. It's like two or three pixels at the end of my hand. If the bad guy gets anywhere from here to here, I can, eh, a little bit farther out, I can hit them with my knife. If they're in this general direction or vicinity right in front of my face, I cannot hit them because my knife is way out there. So uh, keep that in mind too. There we go. So I found another room with four baddies in it. So again, we can show off the knifing. So it's best to go ahead and try to uh, backpedal some because they kind of, if you if you want to, like my, my standard practice is to get behind and just knife, 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 and eventually they'll hit that tip of the knife, right? So it's not, it's not science, I guess, <laughs> really, um, but it does work out pretty well sometimes. Again, I am taking some damage right now. Kind of showing you guys how it works, but uh, if you do it really good, you can actually get through the first couple levels um, using almost exclusively a knife. There are a couple bad guys you really want to uh, shoot. Uh, like these guys, don't do that much damage. Let's go ahead and take, I think it's like two damage. Come on. Yeah, so two damage. Uh, that's the same as a zombie, so they're both pretty weak. They can hit. As you can see, they get a little dark. I hit him again, he dies. Zombies also take two hits. Corridors are the best. <laughs> See, I was not lined up right on that one. There we go. So I found another pretty good room with some baddies. They kind of blend into the ground, so it's going to be a little difficult to see. But you see, if I circle this way, just like in MMA, or I guess any type of, uh, style of fighting, uh, always want to circle with your strong hand on the other side. So although that still didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to, um, circling it this way, means that I'm always attacking to the inside. If I were to circle the other way, I would be pretty much stabbing the wall every time, which doesn't exactly bode well for me. There we go. So let's let's try to actually be good this time. So I'm going to see if I can get through a room without getting hit at all. Nope. There we go. Circle it down. It's usually ideal to not really be fighting, uh, trying to knife more than one guy at a time. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to collect some groups here so that it's a little more entertaining for you. Um, but hopefully you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. There's even more bad guys in this corridor. It's easiest in a corridor when you're not running around in circles like an idiot. Um, you can just kind of keep backpedaling. When you do hit them, they do usually, almost always, pause for, uh, for a second. Um, so if you can't hit them, you can kind of release the keyboard. Um, and it will, it will save you a little bit of time. A little knifey knife. Again, plenty of examples just to show you that it always comes from that same side. Always that same side. You always want to angle yourself to that side where the knife is. Here we go. So these big guys are a good example of what you do not want to try and knife. You can. You can. I've done it before. But they do a lot more damage. So these little guys, as we found out earlier, do two damage. So let's just... Well, there's another one. Let's just kind of get these guys out of the way. And we can... Whoopsies, I ran the wrong direction. And you can kind of run by and knife them sometimes. Uh, but these big guys will do, let's check real quick. 
Yep, 10 damage. So you do not really want to knife these guys. Oh, yep. And, oh, okay, so you can knife them. <laughs> uh, usually you can try to run by them. Like a joust a little bit. Oh, well, that one got the better of me. But that's kind of how the uh, general just over works. So, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the shock blade looks like once you get later, later, later into the game. There we go. So, I went ahead and did the level 5 start. If we hit C, we can go ahead and craft. We can make the power. Let's go ahead. There we go. So, you can see it. Uh, let's make the shock blade. That's one taser and one M chip. And since it's yellow, uh, that are like auxiliary uh, kind of items you can get, so you don't need to be on the shock blade to use the shock blade. Um, so you can kind of just drag it down to the bottom, get it out of the way. As soon as we hit someone with it, it will give us an electric sound, and it will. Oh, there's a big bad guy. Those are guy. That's another guy you do not really want a knife. But as you'll see when we hit these little guys with the shock blade, it's one hit instead of two. Whoop! This big guy should fall with about three. Again, if you're knifing, you gotta be very careful, so. Oh! Four! Five? Oh my good gracious. Also, those guys will stab you also. Those are humans. Whoa! So, they're a little easier to stab as long as you don't stand in front of them like an idiot like I just did. Um, but as you can see, you can lay waste to an entire room of guys uh, with a uh, knife. So real quick for fun, last thing I want to do is go ahead and see if I can kill a Warwalker with my shock blade. So far, really doesn't seem that hard. Oh, of course, now he's spinning in circles, so now I'm going to die. Oh, there we go, he's dead. Fantastic, I'm the man. So I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial here. Uh, if you did, go ahead and leave a, a like on the video. Uh, go ahead and leave some comments down below. If, uh, if you want to see me do anything else with a knife or any other kind of tutorials, I've still got a... Uh, uh, I've already put out a basics one. Um, we're going to do a pro tips one. And then I'm also going to do one uh, exclusively on how to find secret rooms, uh, what they give you, and kind of how to get into them. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more stuff from Teleglitch. I'm at about 112 episodes in my current series. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. And I will see you all later. Peace out. Oh. There we go. Definitely got it out. Oh, you can't knife it. Man, I wish there would have been a, a achievement where you could. All right. 